1994 elections was the elections in which my parents voted and I remember the pride that they had when they picked me up at school that day after having voted, seeing the change in their faces. So it was a beautiful time even though I did not get to vote. I remember distinctly there was this one kid who was quite clear from day one that I was at the Model C school that he went home to parents who supported the Avia beer. Now, I'm a lover of crunchies and he came to school in his lunchbox with crunchies that day and I said to him, fantastic, I wonder if I could have a couple. He shared that with me and, and I suppose it's become a brotherhood of crunchies between myself and this kid that had the Avia beer parents. But as that happened, as we started developing a friendship, as we started sharing our lives and moments in high school, I reckon that's when I started realizing this country's going to be okay. We're going to be fine. In fact, we're going to flourish. We are going to thrive. We're outside the Summit Club in Johannesburg, a place of adult entertainment, euphemism for debauchery. Now, how I link into that is when I moved up to Johannesburg, I remember my folks driving my little Taz coming to accompany me to Johannesburg. A sort of classic case of Jimmy comes to Joburg, if you know what I mean. On that day, a couple of wrong turns later, my dad, who was driving at the time, ended up in Hillbrow. The first thing we saw on this very corner here was a guy being attacked, running across our car, and his assailant going sort of down in that direction. And I could see on the look of my parents' faces that this is not where they wanted their son to be. And the reason why this place is significant, not only does this towering building house a place for absolute debauchery, but in the same building, there's a place for sporting excellence. One of the oldest boxing gyms anywhere in South Africa, the Magnolia Sports Club, responsible for some of the greatest boxing champions South Africa's ever had. So it's that contradiction, that juxtaposition, that, that makes this place for me a place of great significance and a metaphor for life in Johannesburg. My personal radio highlight, if I had to recount just one, it would be completely impossible. But there was a time where I was doing four to six in the morning. That was the one space where I would have my mindset of what we were going to talk about for the day. And then two hours later, the conversation's gone in a completely different direction. And just not knowing what to expect, not knowing what's going to come out of the mouths of fellow South Africans, that unpredictability of those two hours of a general South African conversation that really stands out as a highlight for me. So I think for me, the highlight of the last 20 years is how it's challenged us for the next 20 years to really start finding one another. And the only way we're going to do that is if we open ourselves up to one another. That needs to take place in a much bigger, much more concentrated uh, and a much more deliberate way. And it's going to have to, because if we don't find each other more, was the last 20 years really worth it?